morning guys harmless farmer here uh we had you know, five six inches of snow yesterday real super wet heavy stuff and then rained a bunch on it right after that and now it's melting pretty good so we really don't know what we're going to get into today but uh this morning we're heading up to king feed there in west liberty to uh pick up a batch of feed and while i'm thinking about it the wt farm girl gave me a shout out from the from the uh the louisville farm show suzanne i really appreciate that that's like really helped me out a lot uh you sent a lot of wonderful people over my way and and uh, I think that if any of you guys that are watching this aren't familiar with the WT Farm Girl, I want you guys over there at their place or her place because uh, she's messing around doing hay and uh, maple syrup and hold on a second, got a turn here. Hay and maple syrup and uh, just posting all kinds of different videos. She's up in Michigan, but uh, check her out because she helped me out. I probably can't help her out near as much as she helped me out, but uh, she really did a good job, and I really appreciate it. So, uh, so as a, I don't know what all we're going to get into today. It just kind of depends. Um, yesterday, even underneath the snow, it was freaking mud. I tried hauling corn the day before yesterday. I did get some corn out and uh, got a bin cleaned out. But uh, the last load I hauled out, it was freaking mud. And we're not going to destroy our driveways over just hauling a couple loads of corn. So we're going to put hauling corn off for a while. Um, got to do some uh, office work. And oh, got my credit cards, all new credit cards from uh, getting broke into. Oh, it's another thing. Got a window. Go give a shout out to LeVan's Body Shop. Uh, right between West Liberty and Bell Fountain. Chad, they've been there for a long time. Uh, family run business and uh, do an excellent job. Called him up, told him when it got broke out. He said, Andy, I can do it in the morning. And that made me just thrilled. So I want to send people his way if he can. Um, those guys up there at LeVan's Body Shop do a great job. So we're going to run up here to West Liberty and get my feed and then uh, get back with you. Oh, we'll go ahead and we'll check the babies out. Three babies are still doing wonderful. Growing like weeds, it's crazy. So uh, we're going to do that and I'll get you back here shortly. up here and get feed what they do is they take a pallet and they stick in the back of my truck and then they put a cover on it and then they stack all my feed on this skid right here I'm getting like I get 1500 pounds of feed at a time so this is James here he's putting he's the one that's gonna be bagging my feed what they do is they take bags they bag it up and then they'll actually tie them shut and then uh, stack them here on this skid in the back of my truck. So we're gonna watch him bag a little. And what they're doing is, this is the actual mixer right here. Everything comes into it from up there, goes through these elevator legs, it goes up, and then comes down into a hopper, and then goes down into here, and then it's bagged with this right here. So we'll watch him do a little few bagging and then we'll go inside and we got to get a couple of things. Got to get some horse feed and such like that. So this is the inside of the feed mill. I didn't get it on it. These guys act like brothers out there. complaining. That's Mark. He's another guy that works here. But uh, yeah. Steve up there in the back of the truck stacking the skid. Him and 
James. They're complaining to each other. Seems like that's all I get done is running around with people that complain all the time. All right, now when they do this, they usually fill up these bags. They usually try to put about 50 pounds in each one of these bags. What do these bags normally hold? James, 100 pound. Yeah, they do that so I can pick them up. And it works out pretty well, huh? Do what? How do you have to pick them up? Because I got to unload the dang things. You want to come down and unload them for me? You can put as much in as you want. Or you could deliver. We deliver. They used to deliver. I don't know if they still do or not. He said they did. We will deliver. So. These guys really do a good job, though. They make my feed just exactly how I want it made. So. But we'll have about 30 bags to unload when we get home. We do it the easy way, though. We'll unload it with a loader. Then put probably half of them in the barrels. So. Here we are, guys. King Feed and Supply, West Liberty, Ohio. They sell feed all over the state of Ohio. Pretty awesome. We'll go in here and pay the bill and get some horse feed. Need not need to. Good morning. How are you? Great. How about you? Good. This is Nikki. Mickey, like Mickey. Okay. So she's working here, and we're gonna pay my bill. Go get the horse feeding. Doing load feed. All right, we got the feed on the back of the truck. We got the horse feed. I think that's all we need. Uh, Corky called here shortly ago yesterday during the big snow, the big wet, heavy snow that we had uh, with the semi that upset over here on Ludlow Road. And it laid out there all night. Corky called and said that uh, Oh, there's a box truck here in the pickup truck and they're getting ready to set it up. So I believe we're gonna run over there quick and uh, we're gonna check it out, see if we can get some video of them setting the thing up. There it is. If you ever wanted to see the underneath the truck, boy, it sure would be easy to work on it. Probably wasn't a fun ride, but probably didn't see too much damage. But uh, right here at the edge of the road, should be pretty fairly easy. Well, I don't know. We need to get back here though in a little bit and check it out. But uh, it's always kind of neat watching them set these things up. Um, they'll probably bring a couple wreckers and all that. But. Uh, We'll get home and one load feed and uh, try to get back over here so we can see that. All right, here we are in a little workshop here. Uh, loader's in here and uh, we got to go out and we got to take the uh, pusher box off and put the forks on and lift the feed out of the back of the truck.
Got the knife right here. We'll open it up here and cut this bell open. Don't cut my boot. Hold the knife similar to that right there. Between my big toe and my next toe. Close it. Put it in my pocket. Take strings off. Kick her around a little bit. Babies are just over a week old now. All right, here we are in the barn. Uh, this feed is going to go into some barrels. Get a bag of feed and show you where it's going. I don't advise this to anybody, like I said earlier. See, when I take the string off like that, and pick it up. When the bag's been tied up, it's all crumpled up like this top. It's a lot easier to get a hold of. So, grab it like that, hold on to it with my shoulder and my chin. Lean forward and I got it. It's a, uh, what it is, basically a calf feed. Um, there's, there's pellets in it. Probably can't see that worth of crap. But uh, there's pellets in it. What that is, is a, uh, a dairy pellet, a dairy protein pellet. And then there's a, uh, shake some out here. Then there's uh, oats in it and cracked corn. This is really a good batch of feed here. What I'm gonna do is I've got this gallon pitcher right here. It's one like you make iced tea in or something. And I dip it in feed here and I pick it up and I take it and I dump it in the feeder. I'll show you. Get a full scoop of feed like that. Then I reach down and I grab it with my mouth. I hold on to it like that. And I dump it in. That's how I put the feed in. 
do the same thing over here in the other pen, but already fed her. So, uh, only she gets a half scoop. Leg back on. Then now we'll do the water. I do a lot of this with my mouth also. Shut it off. Got those here like this. I'm not holding it in my mouth this time. But I uh, take it and I'll toss it over this gate and then we'll go in and fill the water jug, water bucket up. So what we got here is we got a little door right here. And what I do is I tip the bucket backwards and I dump it out. It goes out the crack in that door. Some of it does, not all of it. dump it in the morning anyway and then we go out and then now we drain the hose because it's winter time hi right, guys that's about all i got for you today uh pretty muddy out right now it's too muddy to do too much i drove up to the farm a little bit ago and uh, uh i just pulled back in there and turned around and left it was so muddy and such so we didn't get into a whole lot today, but uh, at least we went and got the feed. And uh, the truck that's laying over on uh, Ludlow, the semi that's over on its side, they still haven't picked it up yet. So uh, we'll probably end up missing that, but uh, maybe we'll catch it, we'll just have to see. I'd like to thank, uh, thank all my subscribers. Everybody subscribe to me. We've gotten quite a few here in the last several days. Uh, keep those comments coming in. I'm answering all of them that I can. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, hit the little bell over there. That'll give you an alert anytime I put a video up, if you choose to do so. But uh, thanks a lot, guys. See ya.